that's a nice one we need this one boys and girls what is going on guys welcome back to another episode today's video is going to be another tournament fishing episode another wednesday nighter with my buddy dan right here and uh, we are looking for five bass over 14 inches you guys already know the drill and uh, also today's video is going to be brought to you guys by catch cold bait so we have two rods rigged up right now we do have a couple more in the rod compartment but hopefully these are the only two baits we need we have a little diesel football jig made by catch Co. We have a Biospawn Exopod on there as the trailer, and then we have a little Catchco uh, Guggen Squad frog right there. So hopefully, if all goes according to plan, that's gonna be the only two rods that we need, and we're gonna bust them up. But uh, we do have a few other baits that, if it is a little bit tough out here, we might have to pull out, but we do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in this channel. So if you guys are new, definitely consider subscribing, and uh, we are about to hop into it here. So three hours, gotta get five fish in the boat. Let's go, guys. Okay. First spot of the day, starting out with that little diesel football jig. If you guys wanna check out any of the Catchco baits that we're using today, it's all gonna be linked down below, but Three hours on the clock. Need to get five bass in the boat, guys. Five big old bass. We're gonna have a shot at winning this thing. Go. It's small, 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 small. Little one on that jig, boys and girls. My first bite of the day, probably like a 12 incher, but like I said, we are looking for 14 and above for it to be a keeper. So this lake's got a lot of fish just like that. Gonna need to get a little bit bigger though. Little guy. Ah, just kidding. That's a keeper. That's for sure a keeper. Right inside of the boat. Very long, skinny, gross fish, but we're gonna toss this one to the bump board, but I'm pretty sure that's like a 15 inch Dan. <laughs> that's a gross looking one. Got the ego bump board, boys and girls. If you guys want to check out the bump board, 15 and a half incher. Gonna be in the link down below. That fish is sickly. Very disgusting. On that little catch code diesel jig. First keeper of the night though. Going on the coal tag. Luckily that one stayed pinned up long enough to get in the boat. As you guys saw, she kind of flopped off the second that we flipped her in. Did not feel like a very big one. Very small fish, but first one in the boat. Always good to get the first keeper, boys. There he is. That feels like a decent one. Yeah. Yeah, Dan. Get the net on that one. That's a nice one. We need this one, boys and girls. Yes, yes, Dan. Big time. Yes, Dan. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, the lake that we're fishing doesn't really have a lot of big fish in it, so that's kind of a kicker for this lake, I'm not gonna lie. And we just caught back-to-back -back fish on that little diesel football jig. Back-to-back, -back, nice, like, probably two and a half pounder at least. Oh, that's, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, she's going on the big side. There we go. There we go. I laid into that one. That felt so good. <laughs> They're crushing the jig. At this point in the day, we had two fish in the box, including that nice solid kicker that we just caught. And we're 30 minutes into a three hour tournament. So we have two and a half more hours to try to find three more fish and try to take the win. So we're moving on to spot number two, three more bites. And we're gonna have a really solid chance in this tournament, guys. Yeah, just one thing so far. The, uh... oh, let's see here, my keep. In the boat here, Sonny. Maybe. Skinny. Skinny one. She might go. She'll be close. 13 and a half, maybe. Come here. Just talking about how we were gonna start picking up the pace because we weren't getting any keeper bites over here. Then lo and behold, we just got smoked on that jig again. Oh, she's a keeper. 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half incher. Fish number three, boys and girls. She's bleeding just a tiny bit. I don't really think I hooked her in the gill, but third fish in the boat. We are I think, less than an hour in, aren't we? Yeah, less than an hour into the tournament, guys. We need two more bites. We've already got our kicker, so we are actually off to a very good start right now. No. The jig is going. I told you. I said if all goes according to plan, we're just gonna throw a jig the entire time. Like I said, I might take a couple casts with that frog, but if I could throw a jig all night long, it's gonna be a good night, boys and girls. That's what I like to hear, that's what I like to see, and that's what I like to do. Mm-hmm. No. They're all hidden right on the edge, that right on the weed. Mm -hmm. There we go, dude. Next cast. Feels like another halfway decent one. Yep. Yep. Scooting in the net. Yes, sir, dude. That's going to keep, right? Should. All day. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That should be a keeper. That was literally the next cast, boys and girls. I just retied after catching that last fish. Cast it out there and that fish was on it instantly. Let's see what we got here on the bump board. That's got to keep. Oh yeah, 15 incher. That's a nice one. That's a nice one right there, Dan. Okay. Okay, boys and girls. Still less than an hour in and now we've got four in the box. 
We've got two hours left to catch one more bass. Crushing the diesel jig, boys and girls. Heck yes. Dude, three casts in a row, Dan. That one feels small, uh, small, 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 small. Three casts in a row. Yeah, there's a little school of fish down there, boys and girls. That is three casts in a row. That one's not gonna keep. We literally went back to back to back, two keepers, one short fish, all stacked up within like five yards of each other. So a little pot of fish. And uh, now we have four fish in the box. We're only one hour into the derby and we only need one more bite. And we're gonna have a nice solid limit. This lake is not known for giant fish. If you catch five bass, you're gonna have a shot at placing in the top three. So we're pretty hyped up. We need to get one more bite, guys. We move on to the next spot. Looking for one more fish over 14 inches. Feels small, small, small. Mm. That ain't gonna go, is it? Oh my gosh. It's a keeper, I think. He, he touches. Yeah, it's a tall, he touches. It's a line burner. That's gonna be the first one to go, boys and girls. But that is limit fish. That's fish number five. Get a call tag on this one, and hopefully this fish is gonna be gone very soon, because that is a very, very small keeper. As close as they get. Yellow is gonna be the first to go then. There she goes. Okay. Well, there's. There's our first limit. That one needs to go for sure. I think the green pumpkin jig might be the deal, Dan. <laughs> Dan's been throwing the black and blue jig along with a Nico rig, drop shot, stuff like that. And so far, the only keepers have bit the green pumpkin diesel jig might be the deal today. As you guys just saw, we put the fifth fish in the box, but we were not too excited about it because it was literally as small as they possibly get, like the smallest keeper that you could possibly catch. It barely touched that 14 inch line. And uh, what we're trying to do for the rest of the day now, we have like two hours left in this tournament. We're trying to get rid of that bass. If we get rid of that one, we're gonna have a for sure solid limit and have a really good shot of placing in this tournament. So two hours left, we need to get rid of that little 14 inch squeaker that we just caught. Feel small. Feel small and small, man. There's some good grass right there, though. Got some nice grass out here, boys and girls. We just caught two back to back. Feel small. Feel small. Small, small, small. Not gonna help. Not gonna help the cause. They're slamming it though. That thing felt nice. <laughs> maybe, maybe, be questionable. That might do it. Might be better. I would say this one bumps easy. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I think that one's better. Yeah, that one's closer. Yep. With legit like 20 minutes left in this tournament, I finally get another solid bite. We get it in the boat, we put it on the bump board, and it's pretty much the exact same story. It's another line burner, but as you guys saw, we actually did call the other one out. It touched a little bit easier, but still a little bit sketchy, and we would really like to get rid of this fish. So we have 20 minutes left to try to get rid of this line burner now. We need to get that fifth fish that's really, really solid, at least like 14 and a quarter inches, so we feel good about it. And uh, this happens right after we just caught that one. That might, that might help. <laughs> yes, that one's better for sure, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Boom, baby! <laughs> we got rid of our dumb little line burner. Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. See what happens. Kicker. Yep, 24. Thank you, sir. 2.75 whale. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. All of these night tournaments end at 9 p.m. So as the summer goes on, you guys have seen it's got darker and darker and darker as we're weighing in those fish. So you guys didn't really get to see much, but we ended up in second place in the tournament. And we also got second big bass. Someone actually caught a five pounder in this tournament. Literally the big bass in this tournament is usually like two to three pounds, maybe tops. And someone caught an absolute unicorn. They had like an 11 pound bag and uh, took the W and big bass. So we got second place in second big bass, still a solid showing, still made some money fishing. So we cannot complain. As you guys know on this channel, we do not complain when we finish in the money. It's an awesome time to be able to get out there and fish and make some money doing it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out the jig and the trailer that I was using in this video, as you guys saw, I literally put seven keepers in the boat. It was on fire. Uh, all that's going to be linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.